We got them. We got them. Cover pop all twisted up. Nice chunker. The cover pop, that bluegill color, it's hands down my favorite in the cover pop. I get a lot of people ask, when do you throw a popper versus a walking bait? And basically, I just kind of let the conditions dictate it. If you look now, we're slick calm. This popping bait's a lot more subtle than a, a walking bait. It's, it's silent, there's no rattle in it. A lot of times if I'm, you know, get around a fish or one misses it, I'll, I'll hit it with that standard pop. But, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm just walking. It's just like I would, you know, a top walker or a, you know, a spook style bait. You know, sometimes you get in situations like this, you know, I'm not trying to call a fish 20 feet to come hit it. I'm putting it real tight places. You know, I'm putting it within five feet of those fish and they definitely notice it even in dirty water. It's a subtle deal. But when you get these slick conditions like this, I don't want something real overpowering like a big top walker, this little subtle popping bait, you know, really gets a lot more bites in these kind of conditions. Especially from post-spawn fish, they get kind of funky after they spawn, they're, they're real moody. Sometimes they don't want, you know, really overpowering stuff and a little more subtle stuff like this um, gets you a lot more bites. I can make it move so much in one place is another real key in that post-spawn because of that shorter profile I can you know make it walk I can get more movement out of it without pulling it away from the cover like you you know you would with a, a big walking bait and then I actually attach a, a VMC clip on there you can I prefer to do it this way a lot of guys will tie a loop knot but the problem is with a loop knot it's really not that strong it's it's not a great knot I've had some issues breaking it I can get that same action out of the bait I've got that free swinging motion with that clip versus a loop knot, but I can attach it to a, you know, a good solid knot. I got a polymer knot tied on here. So I'm not worried about breaking fish off and I still get that good side to side action. So that's why I go with the clip over the loop knot. Loop knots just really aren't that strong. And uh, you know, you get everything all together. And it really makes a bait work really well. And set up with this, I'm, I'm throwing this on seven, three to one to tool the CT. I got 30 pound braid. I love fishing braid with top water, especially when you get around small mouths or schooling fish or, you know, they get real inaccurate. There's just so much going on. They get so excited. They come up, take a shot at the bait. You know, if you were to fish straight monofilament and you throw one, throw a cast way out there and one blows up on it, you gotta, you gotta move a lot of line with your rod to get a hook set in them. And if one misses it and you jerk it out of the way, odds are, pretty low that he's gonna come, you can throw back in there and get him to bite again. But with this braid, I don't need a great big hook set. When one eats it, I can basically just keep working the bait and wait for that rod to load up. I don't have to yank it out of there. And you know, a lot of a lot of places, especially small mouse and stuff like that, they'll hit a bait two, three times before they actually get it. And that's where that braid's a massive advantage because I can just keep walking it until they really get it versus where you know, if I was throwing that on straight mono and he came up on it the first time, I'd jerk and rip the bait out of there and probably never get that fish to bite again. It's it's quite a bit bigger than most popping style baits, which I like. Um, you know, it's still a lot smaller than your walking style bait, so, I, you know, the size isn't that big of an issue. But it allows me to put big hooks on it. I can, you know, I can catch bigger fish. I can put a little more heat on them when I'm fighting them versus, you know, a lot of them little itty bitty ones. You know, you can only run like, you know, number sixes on there or whatever, but I can run size two treble hooks on this, which come in handy because I'm fishing this on braid. I do have a, a little piece of suffix monofilament on there, but I mean, it's a small section. It's only about three feet long. So you're not going to get a ton of stretch out of that. But what it does when you're fishing it on braid, the braid's so limp when you go to cast it. If you tie it directly to the top water with braid, you'll end up falling your hooks a lot when you cast because the braid's so limp. If that bait tumbles at all or does anything when you're throwing it, um, it'll wrap around those hooks real easy. And uh, that little piece of monofilament on there is it's a lot more rigid than the braid, so it allows me to keep that bait from falling up or getting tangled or whatever every time I cast it. So this is just a lot more efficient fishing that way. And there's a little bit of stretch in there, which helps with the treble hooks going from braid. But uh, you know, I just fish a pretty light drag, so. I'm not too worried about them pulling off, especially with being able to fish those oversized hooks on there. But the castability of this popping bait's unbelievable too, the way, it, the way it's weighted. A lot of them, I mean, essentially really the only weights in them are the, 
the rattles and this one's got a, a big solid stainless steel ball in the back of it which allows it to track really nice when you're casting it you can get really accurate which uh you know with a popper i want because i'm gonna be throwing in tight little places up around right up tight to cypress trees or oh big and oh no oh stay on there it got him out Look at that. Freaking big and dude. Get in here. I'm gonna fight him out of a little bit of cover, but you can get that bait in some tight places. Barely got him in the lip, but they got good hooks on them. It's a nice big chunk, especially on a top water bait. That's an awesome bite. Threw up in between some bushes. And he came up and smoked it but you know if i was fishing a smaller popper with those little bitty hooks i'd have probably lost that fish he got me around a bush i was able to put a little bit more heat on him and get him out of there and that's really what i like about that cover pop it uh it's an awesome popper gets a ton of bites but you know i can fish those number two treble hooks on there and you know pull those fish away from that cover because that's i'm gonna be throwing this bait tight to stuff you know so you're gonna have to deal with that kind of stuff and getting them out of there is what it's all about that's awesome